Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 39 and it reads, see now, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and I will reward them that hate me. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing. Keep the faith of God's people here for a better lunch break lesson. The Lord allowed me to be able to get a little bit of time to do a quick little lesson through the Spirit. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, are, are edified. You know, that's why we do these lessons. See, edification, um, what to say, um, exhortation. Matter of fact, bear with me. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3, and it reads, But he that prophesieth will tell you what's going to happen before it even happens, right? The man that's out there prophesying speaketh unto men to edification. You see, the word edify means to build, right? And exhort, continue to push, keep going, keep going. That's what we're out there doing for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, right? And comfort, so we're out there to comfort our people with this word too. So, so when we prophesy, we prophesy to edify, you see, and to exhort, and to comfort. So let's go back. That's, that's our job out there. You see, let's go back. Deuteronomy 32. Quick little lesson through the Spirit. Once again, Lord willing, the elect. Living in some scary times. The Lord is going to pull a number on our people. What it say again? Deuteronomy 32, 39. I, I don't think Jake taking heed to what the Scriptures is, is, is really saying. The Lord is going to get down on our people. Would you, would you say again, Lord? Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he. And there is no God with me. I kill. And I make alive. That's some scary stuff right there. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's the thing about it. No one can deliver you. No one can deliver you from the clutches of the Heavenly Father and His Son. No one, nothing. No one and nothing. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. For I lift my, I lift my hand, for I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. These idols can't do that. If I wet my glittering sword in my hand, take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance. Vengeance, Israel, to my enemies. And the Lord got a whole lot of enemies and he's taking them out each and every day. He's taking millions of his enemies out each and every day. Millions. I will render vengeance to my enemies. And will reward them that hate me. That's what the Lord is getting down. The Lord got us prophesying, telling, telling you what He gonna do before He even do it. That's why nobody ain't gotta listen. You ain't, you ain't gotta listen. It's gonna happen anyway. This gonna happen. The, the, look, that that famine coming. Man, it's a it's a famine coming, Israel. These people gonna be eating their babies and everything. Let's get this though. Let's get Jeremiah, the fifteenth chapter. Jeremiah chapter 15. Um, we we'll started one. Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Meaning the Hebrew Israelites, two thirds, right? Cast them out of my sight. They don't want to take heed to the word anyway. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. 
and it shall come to pass. Because because game time is over. You see, the, this is the time when you should have been asking questions. You would you would you would have got the answer. This is the time we are supposed to have been seeking the things that are well pleasing unto the Lord. This was that time right now. You know. But they said, no, we ain't trying to walk that way. We got, we got another way they would want to walk, right? I mean, the earth is being ran by a wicked nation. And Sleazy, once again, let, let them do whatever the hell they want to do. So the Lord got something for you. The Lord wants us to tell you something. You two-thirds out there, you gremlins, you ninjas, you hyenas, you silverbacks, you, you glorillas. You see, you menages. You know what I'm saying? You stallions. You see... In any goofy name, other any other goofy name up under the sun. This, this is the message from the Heavenly Father and the Son to you. And it shall come to pass. Verse 2, Jeremiah 15 and 2. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whether shall we go? Because we're going to tell them to get the hell out of our face, right? They're going to inquire of the Lord. Can you pray for me? Can you ask the Lord to do this, that, and the third for me? This is what we're going to tell you. Then thou shalt tell them, thus said the Lord. You, you, you took too long, Israel. You took your sweet time, Israel. You see, you was chasing after these worldly fashions instead of turning back to the Lord. You see, you, you just didn't want to repent. It was too much going on. You was caught up in the thrills. You was caught up in all the excitement. You was caught up in all the wickedness that, that, that Babylon was promoting, right? So this, this is a message from the Lord through us to you. Then shalt thou tell them, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, such as are for death to death. Did you hear that? Such as are for death to death in a horrible way. And such as are for the sword to the sword represents the destruction, right? And such as are for the famine to the famine. Look, going right back to um, Sirach, the 40th chapter. It's sevenfold more pun centers. A complete number of things is going to be happening to the wicked of our people. And such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine. Your body gonna start rotting and eating itself. You're gonna be you're gonna be sitting somewhere stinking. Stinking and stinking. You see? And such as are for the captivity to the captivity, you getting thrown head first into the concentration camps. But hey, have fun. That's what that's what the Lord is like. Yo, have have fun now. All those that laugh now are gonna cry more later. Have your fun. Ignore the words of the Lord. The Lord got He got treats for everybody, man. And I will point over them four kinds. Save the Lord. The sword to slay. And the dogs to tear. You see these um, pack of dogs. They be running around with a leader. They just, in every city, you got packs of dogs just walking around. When the Lord going to put his spirit in them. To, to rip your flesh to shreds, man. You see, the men and the women. The Lord going to get down on your kids too. And your little babies too, man. Them, them, shit, them lions, them tigers, them bears, them mice. Them carry, carry them right off into the woods. And you ain't going to be able to do a damn thing about it. But just, just haul ass and go the other way. And, and mourn. Why you running? And then they're going to turn right around. Look, and, and you're going to think you're going to get away. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't going to get away. That's why that, they're going right back to Amos, the fifth chapter. Warn to you that desire the dead of the Lord. And the fowls of, of the heavens. Meaning these birds. These, the Lord gonna put these the spirit on these animals to literally attack you people, man. You just talking about you Israelites, man. The Lord most definitely gonna get you heathens too, but He's mainly gonna get these rebellious Israelites, man. Y'all hard headed as hell, and then you are gonna know that a prophet had been among you, right? And the fowls of the heavens, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And there's some animals out there we ain't never seen that you are gonna run into. Trying to get away from this situation, trying to get away from that situation, and you're not getting away. You see, you, you you're not gonna get away. That's why that's why the scripture say, "Make no tarry." And I'm, and I'm just flowing through the spirit, just something quick. On, on, on my lunch, little lunch break, this is Amos chapter nine. The Lord, the Lord gonna get you. He gonna get you. Don't worry about it. He gonna get you. Amos chapter nine, verse ten. All the sinners of my people shall die. 
by the sword, which represents destruction, which say the evils made these bad times shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's what they say. There's a, but what the scriptures say, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man and a woman, but the end thereof are the ways of the earth. Y'all think the Lord is a joke. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you think the Lord is a joke, huh? The, the, the joke is going to be on you, man. The joke is on you. What am I talking about? The joke is on you. Just get this. The Lord said, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Look, and the Lord said, don't pray for him either. Sirach chapter 40. We're just going to get it right quick. Sirach chapter 40. Hey, you, you heard these scriptures. The Lord said, look, look, go, go tell them this right quick. You see? Verse 8, so Rock 40 and 8, also known as Ecclesiastes and the Apocrypha, such things happen to all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Everything that I'm reading, you see, it was created for the wicked, right? Death and bloodshed and strife and sword and calamities, famine, here we go again, tribulation and the scourge, these things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. But oh, yeah, but oh yeah, it's playtime though, right? The Lord is pronouncing judgment against you two-thirds, man. You two-thirds. You see? He's pronouncing judgment against you, and you don't even know it. You you have no clue of what's in store for you. The Lord going to set you on fire and everything, man. So around 39. The Lord going to set your black ass on fire. You don't even, you come on, man, shit. Let's get this, man. You look, you and your family, man. Might just, might just burn everybody up, man. So rock 39 and 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. That's what the Lord told us to go tell them. Which in that fury lay on sore strokes. We go through those spirits created with vengeance all the time. And for you newcomers, you Israelites, Negroes, Latins, Native American Indians, speckled birds, Israelites that may look like these heathen nations, you better get your ass together, better get it right, get your mind right too. Just because you look different, well, you, you don't need to repent just because you look different. If your seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you better repent. Your yellow ass, your brown ass, your white ass, black ass, whatever, tan ass. Better repent. The Lord said, look, I, I got spirits created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on store strokes. In a time of destruction, they pour out their force. And appease the wrath of him that made them. Look, look, fire. You see? And you know the Lord visited the earth with earthquake. I'm gonna see if I can get that next too. Look, the Lord said fire and hell and famine. We go through these all the time. I think I, I just, the Lord been having me read these scriptures right here pretty much all this week. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Here, here we go. Teeth of wild beasts. You Israelites gonna go head to head. With a beast soon come. With a vicious creature. You, you're going to go head to head. Are you, are you going to fall in that water? You're going to fall in that ocean. And the Lord's going to have something come upon you. As, as big as a city. It's going to be about the size of a city. And you're going to wish you would have repented. But, but you know it's going to be too late. You see? For the majority of you. I mean, the Lord has the the, um, the power to show mercy, but but why play around like that? Why tempt the Lord though, right? But the Lord's gonna get your attention. He's gonna get the attention of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in, in the worst way. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. You see, it's it's coming, it's happening now. But the Lord going to unleash some things that ain't nobody on this earth seen. You see, he's, he's, he's going to have it get at you, Israel. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Let's, let's get that one. What is it? Isaiah 26, 29. And bring it out in a little minute. The Lord said, the Lord said he's going to persecute you with his storms, though. You see. Let's get this Isaiah. What is it? Isaiah 29? I think it's 29. 29 and 6. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. 
Yep. Isaiah 29 and 6 and it reads, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. You see? With thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. The Lord had the, had the scientists create the missiles too, man. That's coming. House fires, um, um, forest fires. It's going to burn you and your cribs up. You won't get away this time, Israel. You won't um, sneak through the cracks this time. You won't hide behind a rock this time. The Lord said, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Once again, Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. Not a nice guy with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest which is a tempest is a mighty storm and the flame of devouring fire you've got all kind of earthquakes do i got the earthquake app on here do i got the earthquake app on here yeah let's how many earthquakes happen today i ain't checked it today the lord's willing to pop up remind me later let's see let's check it out oh 113 today Look, this month, what is it, the 18th, 19th, something like that? 3,423 earthquakes. This week, what, well, this month? This week, 953. But oh, yeah, the Lord, the Lord has been getting busy, man. You see? Look at 6.9s and 7.7s and, Lord, have mercy. You see? Had a 7.0 in the Fiji region. Come on, man. 7.3, 7 7.6, 7.0, 6.8, 7.6, 6.6. Come on. But, 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 oh, yeah. Let's, let's play around with the Lord, all right? Let's just play around. You know, we're just going to keep playing around, right? Come on, man. You, you Jakes, have really lost it, man. I got one more scripture, and I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up. Break, break pretty much over. Let's get this and I'm going to end it. Like I said before, Lord, one of the elect is edified. Let's see what I want. I'll get this Zechariah. Let's just bring this out. Zechariah 14. And I end it with this. Zechariah chapter 14. Verse 12. Let's get it. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And it reads, and this shall be the plague. You want to play around with the Lord? And this shall be the plague. It's going into the missiles, right? Wherewith the Lord will smite men and kill all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Judgment day. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. What can do that? Nuclear fire. And their tongue shall consume away in the hole. You, you people got a whole lot to worry about, boy. You people got a whole, you people in trouble, man. Y'all got a whole lot to worry about. The Lord said, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Just a quick little warning through the spirit of your house. It's going down. Repent, Israel. Shalom.